Good morning to all. I am T. Vembu, Department of Microbiology from VV Vanya Permal College for Women, Virudhanagar. Today we are going to see about retrieval of secondary structure of protein by GAR method. In this method, we need a sequence of protein from the NCBI. NCBI was launched on November 4, 1988 under the supervision of National Library of Medicine, US. This was mainly established for the development of DNA sequence information for the medical as well as the molecular biology works. Next, we have to move on to the assessing the sequence from NCBI. In the Google web browser, type NCBI and click the enter button which is diverted to the home page. In the home page, select the protein and enter the organism name in the search box. In our slide, we select the E. coli lac Z gene. Why we need the minimum number of protein means the comparative study take time to correlate large number of amino acid. In the previous slide, we are getting the information about the NCBI in the FASTA format which is used to analyze the secondary structure by the GAR method. Now we are going to see about GAR. GAR method was developed by the Garnier, Osgutrop and Robson in late 70s. GAR is the retrieval tool for the secondary structure of protein. The secondary structure is nothing like an helical pattern, coil, extension and a beta sheet. These secondary structures are required to maintain the protein stability and provide the structure for protein. This can be accessible easily who need to know about the secondary structure of protein for your research work. Here we have following steps to retrieve the secondary structure of protein. In Google browser type GAR4 and click. Then home page of the GAR4 is opened. Already we have protein sequence retrieved from the FASTA format. Just paste it and click the compute parameter button. Here the blue color denotes the helix. Extension denotes in red color, coil in the yellow color, with the interpretation of the percentage of the protein. Finally, we can also observe the diagrammatic view of the secondary structure of the E. coli lac Z protein. I hope finally you can understand the concept of GAR4. If you are interested, you may check with the some other organism or your target proteins in future. Thank you.